Okay, hello everyone. Tom the Comic Book Nerd here, and this is a special socially distanced episode. I've got this guy over here. Um, some of you might remember him from my my brother reacts to the strangest comic books, which I'll link at the top there. Say hello, Benjamin. Hello, comments. I thought we could look at ten superheroes, and you, with the knowledge that you have, have to tell me if I've made them up or they're real comic book characters. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Um, well, it's this way. It's like me asking you if the football is real or not. <laughs> Fair. So, how do you rate your chances? Not very high. I'll be happy if I get five. Okay, so I'm going to put a little clock down there that will that will count up how much Ben has got and we'll see if he gets five or more. I'm not entirely sure how what are you gonna do. <laughs> how many is it how of there's ten. Oh um I'll say three. I'll be happy with three. Happy with three, right. So number one, devil dinosaur, real or not? Devil Dinosaur, real Devil Dinosaur. Not. Real. I don't think you, I don't think you're creative enough to call a superhero Devil Dinosaur. Well, one, that's hurtful. And two, it is a real character. Um, it is a it's a massive dinosaur that Travels with a superhero called Moon Girl. And we have photos, like, oh, of the, uh, the dinosaur oh. will crop up in the usual style. Maybe I'll even put my face on it. <laughs> <laughs> put your face on a dinosaur. I'll put my face on everything. Just for you. Just for you, I'll include this bit and I'll put my face on a dinosaur. <laughs> Thank you. So, number two. The amazing toothpick, real or fake? Say it again. The amazing it... toothpick, real or fake? Fake. What makes you say that? I don't want to live in a world where a superhero is called the amazing toothpick. We have Ant-Man already. <laughs> well, uh, one, Ant-Man is cool, play off, and two, oh, yeah. you, and <laughs> two, you are correct. The Amazing Toothpick is not <laughs> a superhero of any kind. Number three, Kite Man. Kite Man. No. Fake. Fake? Yeah. Okay. No. It's a Batman villain, and his literal power is being able to manoeuvre a kite with superhuman capabilities. Is he in films? Uh, no. Well, he's in the Lego Batman film. I've, I've not seen it. <laughs> yeah. Um, very basic, like, <laughs> only superheroes I know I've seen on... TV. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Ketchup, real or not? I, um, I'm going to say real. Okay, a reason? I don't know. It sounds real. So, it isn't real. However, I based this on an actual villain called the Condiment King. <laughs> who attacks with sentient bottles of ketchup and mustard. Sentient. Sentient, yeah. Like kale. Exactly. There's a food <laughs> theme in DC Comics, they love it. <laughs> and for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, you should watch that video up there. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, <laughs> okay, so number five. The transforming pterodactyl called Steve, real or false? <laughs> oh, I hope it's real. 
I really, really do because I'd love to see a picture, but I'm going to say fake. Unfortunately, it is fake. It is from a mock comic I did when I was younger because the only thing that I could draw properly were pterodactyls. Oh, can I have a drawing? We'll see. <laughs> um, right, so number six Super Ted, a super powered teddy bear, real or fake? I'm gonna say real because I feel like people would want a super powered bear. Well, Ben, you are correct. It is from a Welsh TV show. Um, I have to thank my friend Play Content, who I will link his video up. He did an amazing retrospective on Super Ted. Uh, it's really good. I actually recommend you watch it, Ben, so you actually know what you're talking about for once. That's not a joke. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just telling you. I feel like you should watch it. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Number seven, Calendar Man, real or fake? Fake. I've got to tell you, Ben, you were doing well until then. Oh. It's a Batman villain. And he kills based on the days of the month. That's not nice. <laughs> no, he's, he's, <laughs> he's not a fun villain. <laughs> <laughs> there are, have been some like goofy versions of him where he's worn calendars as a cape. And then there's been some not goofy versions of him where he's had like scars all over his face in the shape of 13s and stuff. So <laughs> classic DC, goofy when it started, really, really dark now. Ben. Number eight. Yeah. Alien X, real or fake? I feel like that's thing. Um, okay. I'm going to say real, but I won't be shocked if you've made it up. It is real. It's from Ben 10. Oh. I included it just for you. <laughs> oh, thanks. I didn't get called Ben 10 enough when I was little. That's what I'm here to unter her childhood from. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine, we're nearly at the end. The juggler, real or fake? Real. Why? I've heard it, I think. It's real. It, it, it is, a, again, a DC villain who went up against Green Lantern. Yeah. And his it, superpower it... was to juggle people. <laughs> so, finally, your final one. Number 10. Mighty Max of Earth 6. Real or fake? Fake. Why? Uh, uh... I feel like you've made it up to twitch me. Like, it sounds real, but I, I feel like you're trying to pull a f- f- fast one. On you sure? Me. Yeah. Okay, so Ben, you caught me out. It is not real. <laughs> So Mighty Max of Earth 6, again, is um, something that I played around with when I was younger. It was actually in the same comic as the transforming pterodactyl called Steve. I think I've read this comic. Oh, I bloody hope not. Did did you do it when he was like 15? No, it was definitely younger than that. (laughs) I don't think it was. (laughs) Yeah, I think it was 15. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Right, so, scores on the doors. Uh, Dramatic drum roll. Mate, I'll edit it it in post. That's what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edit for that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many do you think you've got out of ten? Six. You've got a mighty seven out of ten. Oh, I'm happy. Which shows me <laughs> I didn't make this hard enough and thought you were a lot thicker than you are. I'm 
I'm not <laughs> another high. I wasn't sh- sure on any of them <laughs> apart from uh, the, the, the juggler because I'm pretty sure he mentioned that to me yesterday on a um, when I found you. I mean, I probably did. Yeah. <laughs> probably did. Okay, real or not, bonus round time. Martian yeah. Manhunter. Who? Martian Manhunter, real or fake? Yeah, uh, real because he's in a comic book with uh, uh, Marvin Martian and I feel like I need to buy it. I mean, I'm not funding your weird comic book habits. What he's referring to for anyone that doesn't know is that is the DC meets Looney Tunes where they have Martian Manhunter versus Marvin. 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 They have Daffy Duck uh, versus the Joker. They have one that has Elmer Fudd taking on... I can't remember who Elmer Fudd's taking on. I'm not sure, but um, there's Lex Luthor versus Porky Pig. I'm quite... I want to read that one. I mean, I'm glad you're interested in comics, but by golly gosh, I wish you would read some proper comics. (laughs) <laughs> no. <laughs> Instead of these silly ones. Bonus round number two. Hercules, a real Marvel character or not? Are you trying to trick me? Was Hercules come as a soup? This is hard. I'm going to say no. Oh, I don't know. No. The whole Greek pantheon is in Marvel. There was an there was an early comic, an uh, early four comic, where they introduced Hercules as a demigod uh, in the universe as well, and as such, he's actually been part of the Avengers many times. After a short commercial break, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben did a lot better on my list than I thought. So we decided to do some bonus questions and it kind of annoyed me that he did really well. So I searched the back of my mind and the back of the internet to find some of the weirdest combinations slash come up with some of the weirdest combinations I could. So hopefully you won't get any of these, but I've got a feeling with your ability to guess, <laughs> you'll probably get them all. So are you ready for probably the weirdest five things that I could come up with slash find? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. So number one, real or not real, dog wielder. That's real. That's real? Why? I've heard it. I feel like I've heard it. I thought you were going to do well in this one as well. But it is real. (laughs) Yeah. So it is a character who, to punish criminals, welds dogs to people's faces. Oh. (laughs) And you thought the sentient kale was weird. Yeah. This is why I don't read comic books. Okay, number two. Bert the robot, real or fake? I feel like that's real as well. Bert the robot, I thought you were going to get right, is fake. Oh. Potentially came up with something that you would second guess yourself at. So Bert yeah. the robot does not exist. Okay, number three. Coy boy. Coy boy. <laughs> that's Koi real, boy. isn't it? So, um... Koi Boy is real. He has the abilities of a koi fish, so he can swim underwater. And he's friends with the superhero Squirrel Girl. And that is a Marvel comic, so we're uh, getting away from the DC there. Oh, cool. Next one. Ice Cream. Real or fake? Ice Cream. Ice Cream. It sounds real. Yeah, I'm going to go with real. Real? And if it's real, what its power is? It screams, like, it like makes people's ears bleed. So, Ice Cream is a real, um, it's a real character, and it can turn anything into an ice cream. It has... Oh, ice Cream. No, but it's spelled I Scream. I Scream. Oh, I... Uh, it can turn anything into an ice cream, and it has the superpower of refrigeration molecules. Well, wow. <laughs> there you go. 
And finally, you literally searched the whole internet for this, haven't you? I do not take being beaten lightly. <laughs> and finally, your final question. Used to it. Hindsight, lad. Real or fake? Fake. Hindsight, lad, is real, and his superpower is to tell you, "Told you so." <laughs> he, he, he made him all real. <laughs> well, he off. Apart from Bert the robot. Yeah. Yeah, that is. I'm happy with that. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us for the, our socially distanced challenge, I guess you could call it, challenge. Yeah, hopefully we can do another video together in a couple of months when it's safe for everybody. Yeah, um, as, as the boss has said, we're going to be doing some more on kind of the Looney Tunes comics and the Hanna Banera comics. They're just really wacky and really fun to look at because a lot of people don't know they exist and the plot points in those are just absolutely insane. Ben's pretty boring, so he won't actually read any comics with uh, good storylines, so it's the only ones I can get him to, to read. So we'll be back with, with more of those. Like, comment, subscribe. M maybe you said that last time like comment subscribe maybe is that like your catchphrase uh, it's a catchphrase <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i always forget to do this like and subscribe if you've enjoyed your time here and let me know down below any kind of weird stuff that you've come across in comics uh, anything that you would like me to like touch on as well i'm always looking for content related to comic books i read pretty much everything you can imagine and um, even uh, primarily focused on superhero stuff on this channel because that is pretty much what I mostly read but uh, I'm hoping in the future to do a history of Beano which for anyone who doesn't know is a UK run comic that is very famous over our part in our part of the world hopefully I can touch on that and maybe do some uh, some episodes on Tintin as well most people know from the cartoons and, nice well, I'm, I'm glad you agree. Maybe you'll watch all them all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is Tom, the comic book nerd, and Ben, the not so comic book nerd, signing off. Thank you for watching. See you later. See you.